today I am selling the Venom Ghost. Selling this sweet, 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 sweet baby. Um, I got this bike in October of 2021. And it's the first bike I've ever had. It was perfect for me because it's small. Like, as you can see, it's a lot smaller. I got this bike, my Royal Enfield here in <laughs> October. So it didn't take long. August, I got that bike. I took my MSF in September and I ended up getting this bike in October. And I almost didn't pass my <laughs> my my uh, motorcycle safety course. I was not good because I'd never been on a bike before. I just kind of bought this and it was really reliable. Now, I worked uh, overnight and so it would always have condensation and because this particular bike is not fuel injected it would have problems starting up so after after it would uh you know sit there and get cold it would get wet whatever it would just have the hardest time starting up and nobody ever really tells you about that um but that that kind of needs to get on my nerves but i one, once i started driving in traffic I felt like I wanted something a little bit heavier. Not that this couldn't do it. I would go all over the place with this bike. I never got on the interstate with it because even though they say it goes upwards of 80 miles an hour, that just seems dangerous to me. Um, but any kind of back road, I would take it. I, would, I, I used to go everywhere on this bike. Now that I've got the Royal Enfield here, I've been on the interstate, been on the highway. I'll take it anywhere. This is obviously a lot heavier. I think this is 300 pounds. Um, this is like 500 pounds. It's a lot heavier. Um, <clears throat> it's a lot more top heavy. So you really feel that weight, especially coming from this bike. Some of the things that I really like uh, about this bike compared to the Ghost is that this bike has... You know legitimate parts it's from a, a legitimate bike brand you know royal infield you get the royal infield mirrors this is actually a, a dark fly screen but you can get the royal infield screen you know i can get this bike serviced i could take it get it serviced came with a warranty this bike does come with a warranty the i'm sorry the venom ghost does come with a warranty but you're you're going to be doing those oil changes by yourself never done that before it's time to learn and there's really not there's not much online about how to do it um jerry hawk 250 awesome guy basically i watched his videos and that's how i learned how to take care of this bike but again there's really not much when it came i was repairing it myself there were so many things that i had to do myself i had to repair this reflector it came cracked you know, when I changed the, the mirrors, it wasn't like there were mirrors that you could, that, you know, come with this bike that are interchangeable. You have to figure out how to make it work yourself. This, it's cool that it does have things like this, like this USB for charging, things like that, that I don't have on my Royal Enfield. I believe the Venom goes, it's it's increased in price, I think, by at least a thousand dollars since I bought it. Um but for like twice the money, I got the most expensive tank version here. This chrome, chromed out tank, which I really like. I love I love the blacked out, but I also like this. This was about seven thousand. I think this was um twenty five hundred, the ghost. So you're getting definitely tw twice the bike um this is a 650 whereas this is a 250 so you're getting tons of bike tons of just feeling a little bit more confident i did spend money lowering this bike i put a uh, tech bike parts um suspension on here just so that my feet could touch the ground 
So I did have to pay for that. Whereas on the Venom Ghost over here, I never had to think about my feet not touching the ground. I get on the bike and my feet touch the ground perfectly. You know? So it's things like that. Both bikes came with a toolkit, which is great. Um, and both bikes actually have center stands. This is an Interceptor 650 here, the my newest bike, my newest bike, Interceptor 650. The Continental GT, which is a little bit of a sportier version, does not come with the center stand. So it's like things like that. <clears throat> but this bike, it's got, you know, I made a video and I don't think I ever posted it, but it's got lots of plastic, whereas... Basically, this one does too, but everything is just with the chrome. It just looks a little bit more polished. Um, <clears throat> so there, but there's more upkeep as far as that goes. There's really not any more on this bike as far as electronics go than this one. As you can see, it's pretty much the same. It's pretty much the same. So it's not like this is some really, really fancy bike, um, but... I'm happy. I'm happy with this one. I was very happy with this one. I just outgrew it a little bit. And um, as you can see, I've changed both of the mirrors. Both of the mirrors, those kind of bunny ears to, to the barring mirrors. So it's time to say goodbye to the baby person will be here in about 30 minutes to come pick it up and it's all about Royal Enfield from now on. If you guys have any questions about the Venom Ghost, I'd be more than happy to, uh, more than happy to talk about it, uh, but, but you won't see this one anymore.